One of the common things that is really different with the Windows 8 is file associations. So I want to uh, take just a couple of minutes and talk about file associations. Right now we're on our start screen and we have apps that run on the start screen. On the desktop, you actually have programs that run on the desktop. So sometimes a file is associated with an app and you want the file to be associated with a program instead so it runs on your desktop. If you're familiar with Windows, you generally run on your desktop. Uh, and it's a little frustrating, I think, for some people to uh, run an app instead. And let me show you how that, what I'm talking about. But here I just have a folder open on my desktop. And uh, notice these little icons here. If it's a monochrome icon, it's an app. So if I double click on this, it'll open up the PDF file on the app side. But if I had a, a PDF reader or a Acrobat reader loaded as a program, I could get it to run on the desktop. Uh, here I have an image file. It's a JPEG file. And it's a monochrome image here. So when I double click on this, it's going to open in an app. So if I just double click on that, it goes to the app window and it opens it as an app. What if I want to open it on my desktop and not open it as an app? I just right mouse button click on it, choose open with, and I can open with paint or I can open with a Windows Photo Viewer. And if you look at Photo Viewer icon closely, it almost looks like it's monochrome but it's not really. So if I select that, now it runs on the desktop and I can view it. And if I had a bunch of them, I can just scroll through them. I only have two of them right now. I have this one and this one. And I can scroll through it kind of like a little slideshow. So <clears throat> if I want it to always open up that way, then I have to kill this and go right mouse button click on it open with choose the default program and I always want this type of file to open with the Windows Photo Viewer again if you had other programs on here like Photoshop you could have these files open up in Photoshop by choosing them same thing with this one this is an AVI so this is a video file when I double click on it it's gonna open up the app and it says here that the app can't play this file because the application doesn't know how this file was recorded, which is kind of interesting. So we want to get rid of that and then get rid of the application by holding the left mouse button down and just dragging it off the screen. Going back to our desktop, right mouse button clicking on it, go to open with choose the default program so every time I double click on an AVI file it'll open up in the Windows Media Player. When you player. first run Windows 8 you can click and on the now desktop. you can see that the video plays on the desktop but it did not play on the application side and again the other thing that's kind of nice about the desktop is you can resize videos and move any around. icons on your desktop Okay, I'm going to kill that one. Down here we have a, this is a, an audio file. So when I click on this, it's going to run. Testing one, two, three. Hi, this is Randy Hilgers. And I'm, it runs as an app. But if I want it to run on my desktop, I move the cursor up to the top. The little hand icon appears. Hold the left mouse button down, drag it off. Go back to my desktop. Right mouse button, click on it. Do an open with... And I'm going to choose the default program. I Just always. Two, one, two, three. Hi, this is Randy. I want it to open with Windows Media Player. Okay? So that's how you change your file association so that uh, you tell the computer when it runs a certain file, how does it run that file? Right mouse button, click on it, and tell it to run the file any way that you want. Again, if we want it to run on the app, we just right mouse button click on it, open with, 
and we can do it with the Photos app or we can set it back by choose the default program and then say I want it to open up with the app. So you can switch those back and forth. Uh, all depends on how you want to use it. Okay, hope you enjoyed this.